So Israel missed the red flags, but Hamas was not exactly shouting from rooftops. Their planning was extensive and secretive. It began almost two years ago, and reports say that tunnels in Gaza helped them. These tunnels run across the Gaza Strip. They also have phone lines inside. We're talking about the old school ones, the landlines. Hamas terrorists use these landlines to communicate. No mobile phones, no computers. The report says it was a small cell of terrorists. They stayed underground and they used these phones. And when the time was right, the, the cell was activated. Now, this report has not been officially confirmed, but it does add up. Israel constantly tracks Hamas leaders on their devices, so planning this over phone calls, mobile phone calls, would have been impossible, which is why Hamas used old-school methods, like landlines and meeting in person. Maybe that's why Israel was blindsided. But one thing keeps appearing in all such reports, whether it's about the planning or the communications or the hideouts, and that's the Gaza tunnels. It keeps coming back. Just how big is a network? Is this network? Listen to this assessment by the Israeli army. What Hamas has done since they took control almost 20 years ago of the Gaza Strip is basically to build a network of tunnels from Gaza City and under Gaza City, which is the center and the biggest uh, uh, part of their infrastructure, all the way down to Khan Yunus and Rafah. So imagine we're looking at the Gaza Strip, but really think of the Gaza Strip as one layer for the civilians and then another layer for Hamas. And what we're doing now is that we are trying to get to that second layer. Now Hamas says there are 1,300 tunnels below Gaza. The network is said to be 500 kilometers long. That's what Hamas claims, 500 kilometers. Some of them are up to 70 meters deep. Their width is around two meters. Now to give you some context, the entire Gaza Strip is around 41 kilometers long. So Hamas's claim may not be right. Nonetheless, it's a major asset for them, these tunnels. The first tunnels were constructed during Israel's occupation of Gaza, a classic resistance strategy. More tunnels were built after the Hamas took over. Their primary aim was smuggling. Back then, Gaza was under a full blockade. Even the Egyptian border was not open. So Hamas used these tunnels to smuggle goods. Many of these led from Gaza to Israel. One such tunnel was discovered in 2013. It was 1.6 kilometers long, 18 meters deep. Residents at an Israeli border town complained of noises. That's when the tunnel was, was discovered. During wars, these are major threats. You can booby trap tunnels. You can also use them for ambushes. So the IDF has repeatedly tried to target them. In the 2021 war, they had some success. The IDF said it destroyed 100 kilometers of tunnels. Even this time in this war, tunnels are a target. Reports say Israel is thinking about flooding them. You flood the tunnels, you flush out Hamas terrorists. But there's also a downside here. Hamas is holding hostages in these same tunnels. Two of them were released this week. Listen to how they described it. It looked like a spider's web. There were many, many tunnels. We started walking in the tunnels. The earth was moist and it was very humid. We reached a hall where 25 other people had also gathered. So the tunnels are extensive and if Israel invades, that could be a problem. Hamas is said to have different types of tunnels below Gaza, one for smuggling, one for defensive operations like communicating and storing weapons, and one for offensive operations. That last one can be used to launch attacks. So how can Israel tackle this? Historically, tunnel warfare has been impossible. You can't send in soldiers. It's like walking into an obvious trap. You also cannot use bunker buster bombs because above these tunnels are civilians. If you bomb the tunnels, you bomb the civilians. Plus, Israel does not really know where the tunnels are. They've mapped some parts of it, but the whole thing is hundreds of kilometers long. It's impossible to trace all of it. And Hamas will be counting on that. They have no chance against Israel in the battlefield. The IDF is better funded, better trained, and better organized. But down in the tunnels, it's a different game altogether. One that will be played on Hamas's terms. In the past, many groups have used this strategy and with success. 
like the Viet Cong in northern Vietnam. They built a massive network of tunnels which kept the Americans out. Can the Hamas pull off something similar? That's another concern for the Israeli leadership.